this is a female echidna, and the echidna and the platypus stand apart as being the only two living egg-laying mammals. Well, the echidna has spines, and if you look carefully, you can see the spines are mainly on the back, and they've got a very spiny tail. She's attracted the attention of one male. The echidnas are normally solitary except during the mating season, but because of the, their strong sense of smell, males are attracted to the females. During the mating season, both the males and the females tend to lose weight because the females are constantly being harassed by the males and the males are too busy to eat. And as she comes out there, we can see one, then two, males that have been attracted and here's a third and you can see the male using his beak waving it round putting it putting it close to the female now there's probably smelling inspecting and checking but i think also there's some sort of tactile stimulation that he hopes to uh, get the female ready to mate they are promiscuous because the, the females are certainly mating with a large number of different males and the males are mating with as many females as they possibly can. This all looks like cute, cuddly fun, but it's pretty deadly important for the echidnas because if they don't get the mating, then they're not passing on their genes. As soon as she stops, the males try to lift up her rear end and... and with their beaks and mate with that. Okay, the two males have walked on, but now one of them realises what's happened, dashes back, he's on alone, she's, she's not being chaperoned. And he's actually starts to mate, you see he's got his tail curled underneath it. And the second male realises what's coming on and he desperately tries to break it up by pushing, the, pushing that male away. In Tasmania what's happening is that they'll mate and then go back into hibernation. So, okay, that's over with, let's get back to what I wanted to do.